Hey guys, Tina here, the Critical Virgo. Welcome back to another Fragrance Friday. So we got two in one month. I'm really on a roll here. I know, the bar is super low now. But um, I don't remember how long ago it was that I talked about another Sion Bon fragrance. I picked it up on a major discount and I know it was the roses one. I was really impressed by it. I mean, there's some things that I don't like about it, which I'll go more into with this fragrance, but I saw this bottle on a discount and I just couldn't say no because the last experience was positive enough to pique my interest into this. Sion Bon, Carvi, and Harvine de Figuil. Okay, so I'm not French, but what I can figure out from this name is that um, Carvi, it's like caraway, which is pretty popular spice. Most people know what it is, especially if you like rye bread. I'm a fan of rye bread. Um, and we got Hardine, so that's a garden. De Figuil, which is like a fig tree. So it's something to do with caraway and fig trees, right? So let me give you guys the notes and then I'll get more into this. So for this one, we have a top of fig, raspberry, and mandarin orange. We have a mid of violet, jasmine, and rose, and we have a base of whipped cream and cedar. So a lot of the things that are in this that, you know, obviously clearly piqued my interest. If you have watched my channel before, you know I'm a big fig fan. I mean, it comes in so many different forms. You have that beautiful greenness, and then some of other super juicy, ripe fig. You just really don't know what you're going to get until you open it up. It's like a box of chocolates, right? So that always really excites me. Um, and the rest of the top wasn't like super exciting for me. I was curious on how they were going to wrap in like that whipped cream. So it kind of let me believe that this would be more of a sweeter fragrance. If I had to pick some words to describe this scent, it would be a super, well, super wouldn't be in it, but a fun, playful, summertime, flirty, did I say sweets? Sweet scent. I know I picked a lot of words, but that's just the general description of what this is. It is a very linear scent. I'm going to just put that out there. And as I was saying before, I have tried another Cien Bon fragrance. Now I have a lot of things that I love about this house and a lot of things that I don't. What I could say is if you are going to pick up something from here, definitely like make sure that you get like a concentrate version because these fragrances, they are natural and they fade fast. That's just what it is. I think of it as a positive and a negative when it happens because when it does fade fast, it just kind of reconfirms how natural it is. There's not a lot of synthetic stuff going on, but it is frustrating if you like banger scents that last for days like I do. But there is a place and time for everything, right? So this is something, what I've noticed with this um, Cien Bon, I like to use them more at night. Like when I'm winding it down and I just want something really clean and, and nice smelling to put on before I go to bed. It's not anything that's going to keep me up at night, linger around for a long time. It's just kind of something nice to just kind of spray on after you take a shower before you hop into bed. It's not a relaxing scent, so please don't take my recommendation to use it then as that. What I can say is that Again, this is a linear scent, right? So for me, what I get a lot of is a very super sweet, jammy fig. It is not green at all. Um, I do like the little bit of spice. It's kind of a very spicy, sweet scent. I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna be turned off by how jammy and sweet this is. You definitely get a lot of that whipped cream note. So depending on how you feel about that, I don't get a lot of like woods in this at all. And even though it's like a natural fragrance, it kind of comes off like very much of a bubblegum type scent. And I don't know how you're going to feel about that. I really recommend you try it before you buy it if you can't find it for like $20 or under because I can see that turning a lot of people off. The good news is if you spray it on and you don't like it, you can wash it off or it'll just kind of fade away really fast. I don't see this fragrance really holding up as an all day scent. Honestly, I don't know if it's because my nose just kind of gets, you know, marks it as a safe thing and kind of disregards it but I've worn this to the office when I did go to the office and nobody said anything because it just faded away if I had put it in my bag and touched it up you know when people come into my came into my office they might come in and say it was smelled really nice and whatnot but walking around no one ever noticed this at all that's why I said it's a really good nighttime scent it's really fresh it's got a nice bright zesty 
in your face punch when you first spray this and let me tell you when you spray this i don't know if it's going to show up but it's a very fine mist that goes everywhere i love it it also has like a little bit of like a tropicalness to it right sometimes fig can kind of be a little tropically and i feel like the way that it blends with that violet and rose it does two things it makes it even though you don't expect it it makes it a little tropical but it also makes it a little bit like candy bubblegummy which again can either be a really positive or a negative it's got that like coconutty vibe summery vibe so it makes me think of like warmer weather i live in endless summer so i can use it all year round but if you have four seasons just keep that in mind um it would also just be a really nice like date night fragrance um especially if you were in a very close setting or like let's say you came back from a date night and you want to just kind of spray this on that would be really appropriate as well as far as gender goes i feel like this runs a little feminine okay I'm not saying that it's not unisex all fragrances are unisex but just know i feel like the way it's profiled runs a little more feminine it might just be like the way the florals are composed in there i personally wouldn't want to smell this on my husband so just throwing that out there too versatility it really depend, depends on your definition of versatility, right? So as far as being a non-offensive fragrance that you can really wear everywhere, yeah, this is super versatile. As far as being appropriate for every situation where you may, you know, want to be noticed, no, it's not going to work. But if you wanted to, you can ultimately wear this at any time, any place, anywhere. Um, again, it is a very light fragrance. It is not in your face. The only time it's in your face is when you initially spray it and it dries down and this dries down super fast i'm talking like within minutes it's where did it go right so i sprayed some on a few hours ago and i've touched it up a few times since most recently within the last like 20 minutes and when i i have to get like this close to smell it like seriously this close so i dare to even say if you wore this in like a medical setting people probably wouldn't notice it okay nothing offensive there so as far as pricing goes this is a 1.7 ounce bottle i just did a quick search on google on the shopping tab and i see it everywhere from like 25 to 50 dollars personally if i'm interested in something enough and i feel fairly confident in it i don't mind spending 25 dollars on a blind buy because if i don't like it i'm just gonna use it as like an air freshener or something i've done that before but um i generally enjoy it and i find a good place for this in my collection so hopefully you can do the same if you take that chance or hopefully you really enjoy it because that would be even better right so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions you know where to put them down below till the next fragrance friday bye guys <laughs>